how's it going people this is Carlos representing Mad Lifts okay today is going to be chest and uh, triceps my chest workout is pretty much uh, was the same all I added was uh, the dips free weight uh, just body weight dips now I'm just going to show you uh, you know how I do them uh, right now I'm just going to show you uh, I already stretched but I'm just going to go show you how I stretch because uh, you know on the dips what I've See, if you don't stretch, you know, it starts, uh, you might mess up your front delts. It's just the way, because uh, you're leaning uh, forward a little bit. That way you can uh, uh, hit the bottom of your chest more. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'll do full range of motion. Go all, as far as down as you can. Uh, but you'll, you'll feel where you, uh, how far you can go. Because uh, your, your side muscles, you know, right here, it'll let you know. Then after you know if you go lower and you start feeling uncomfortable you start feeling you know the pain on your front front belt you go to show you like i said i just do partial uh reps so the hardest part is in the bottom so that's where i'll warm up all it down just here so i might do this So come back down and stay here. All right. Now I might do uh, two to three uh, warm-up sets just to stretch the chest, get the front delts warmed up and stuff like that. That way you won't injure yourself. And then uh, we'll go from there. We're gonna do. Uh, I don't know, maybe about three or four sets. I do this in the, in the beginning of my workout because uh, when I first started doing dips, I was only doing, uh, I think, uh, six or eight reps. Uh, you know, so that, that would be no good. You know, now I'm at uh, 12 to 15, I think. But, uh, you know, it, 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 it works the chest a little bit different than the... Then the then the, then the ink, uh, decline, you know, when I do the decline machine, decline machine, uh, for me, it builds your chest more, but on the dip, it's more of your uh, your inner muscles. I, I can't explain it. it just uh, you feel the pump also in the bottom, but it's more all your muscle, your bottom muscle fibers, your chest. You know, and that's where I feel it. So here we go. Okay, I do slow and control. Don't don't go, don't go fast down. Control your body. Come down. You know, feel the contraction. They come back up. When I go all the way up, I don't I don't lock my elbows. I just have them bent. That way, I still uh, put tension on my chest. What I'm trying to, what I picture in my head is like if you're having a barbell and you're bringing it close. To uh, to the bottom of your chest going back that's how uh, when I hold these handles that's what I'm thinking like if I'm holding a barbell and I'm going close to the bar and pushing up like I said it's just mind muscle connection Now to get 
get the, the to get the full benefit of the uh, the dips, like I said, do the full range of motion. Don't just stop uh, halfway and then go back up. I mean, it's easier. You can do more, but you know you're losing other uh, chest uh, chest muscles. You're not working. You know you're doing the full range of motion. Let me show you. This is the uh, what I see a lot of people doing, you know, just partial rep. So here, just like this. I mean, yeah, you can do a lot if you're in the machine or you're bench pressing, you know, you're gonna lift a lot of heavy weight, but you really ain't uh, working your whole chest fibers, your muscles, you know, uh, doing full range of motion. So. Uh, just take that in consideration, whatever your goal is. But uh, like I said, I always do full range of motion, work everything. All right, to the next one. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing I added to my uh, chest workout was the dips. Uh, like I mentioned before, it's just a different feeling. Uh, I, mean, you, you, I mean, you still get, I'll still get the pump, you know, on the bottom, but it's more of a uh, the the. The, the bottom chest fibers that you know uh, what I'm feeling you know compared to uh, the decline uh, when you do the when I do the machine press you know it, it's uh, it's more uh, like it, it I feel my chest more pumped up you know overall but the the dips is like more of your inside muscles I don't know how I can explain it it's just all your fibers inside that's where I feel it and then uh, on my triceps, when I already started doing the dips, you know, I felt my triceps, my triceps also getting pumped. But uh, and, uh, like I started doing it more, <clears throat> you know, my my, stri my triceps got a little bit stronger and stuff like that. So I, I can do more reps. So, you know, like I mentioned before, I was doing uh, 68 reps when I already started. But uh, yeah, after that, then I do uh, some flies. You know, get that separation on your chest, uh, and you know, then uh, when you, when you uh, stretch your chest too, then after that, I'll, I'll do the incline. Uh, I'll always try to do the incline before the the decline. It's just trying to get my chest, my top chest, you know, uh, more defined because it's easier to get the bottom chest. So I do uh, the incline, like like I uh, show my videos. I you know I'll go wide and I go close. When you go close. You know, you get all the inside right here. See what you as you're going up. That's 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 where uh, you know you, you just working just the middle piece right here. Now I do then I do the decline. Uh, then after that, then I do my triceps. I'm gonna show you the. Uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, on the computer, cause uh, I didn't record nothing else. I just recorded the dips, and I just cause uh, I mean like I said, it's just my uh, chest workouts the same. My triceps, it just, uh, I changed uh, the exercise, same exercises, you know, uh, I do close, uh, wide, and then I just do, uh, you know, uh, a shoulder width, press downs. But I'm going to show you right here real quick. Computer, let's see, try to put you up here. That way I can uh, explain it. Uh, what the ones I used to do right here. Now these are some old videos. Okay. Try to put you. Okay. Now, uh, this is a uh, move this one this way because that's the second exercise I do. This is the first uh, exercise I do right here. Uh, it, it works the outside of your triceps. Let me see. Now here I, I do it with the with the cables. Uh, uh, usually I, I like doing it with the with the pull up bar. I mean a pull down bar. Is uh, I work both arms at the same time and I feel it more better, more of the contraction on my outside. Uh, this exercise is gonna work the, the 
the inside of your triceps right here where uh, the mouse is see my mouse right here now here I'm doing it single-handed it one at a time as you can see I'm gonna show you right here uh, right here this this is what, it, what I'm working this exercise I don't know if you see the arrow I don't know why it paused. What the hell? Okay, that that's what I'm working. Now, whenever the uh, again, uh, whenever the uh, the pull down bar is available, I jump on it. Like I said, if if it, it's more better. But if somebody's on both of them, I just jump on to this. Okay. Now the uh, second exercise. Okay, I uh, I used to do this one right here. It's almost it's it's like the cable uh, push downs, uh, but I'm doing it uh, one arm at a time. You know, I like this one better than the cable because uh, you can twist. Uh, try to get this out the way. Because you, you you can twist your arm when you're coming down. You can twist your arm better. And uh, it's just a lot more better than the rope, you know, in my opinion, because you can uh, do one arm at a time and really concentrate. And uh, this works the outside right here. I don't know if you can see the uh, this right here. It's just a better squeeze, uh, like I said, my opinion from the rope. So uh, this is what I used to do. Uh, now, uh, let me get you over here. Okay, now I'll do this one. Okay, if you can see. Uh, okay, I have my hands close to the bar. Uh, from the bar, and I'm just pushing it down. Now, with this, this exercise right here like this, uh, you know, you can lift a little bit heavier and it really, you know, targets the outside of your uh, oh, triceps. If you can see this right here. Like I said, I just have my hands close together uh, on the bar and just pushing down. Okay, uh, now the uh, third exercise. Like I said, it's... Uh, you can do whatever you want to do, but uh, All right, people, what's the gym? okay, uh, yeah, just, like just just down. I and I can't see the exercise. Okay, I don't do that no more because it it it, it 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 starts hurting my elbow. It just uh, you know, it puts a lot of stress on your elbow. So what I do now, I just twist my hand uh, like a hammer curl. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. Like you seen on the video, I had my hand like this. I had my hand like this, and I was going like this. Yeah, it. it puts a lot of uh, stress on my uh, elbow so what I do now I just grab it like this like the like you're gonna do a hammer curl yeah and I just go down just like that go down now uh, I like to put my uh, arm a little bit fronter that way when I go down I'm already feeling the whole contraction there uh, that this is how far my my arm can can this is real straight right here so I'm, I'm Flexing my tricep, you can see. When I'm coming down, my my triceps already flex right there. Now, if I, you know, I if I come down here, it, it, it's hard for me to to uh, really flex it. So that's why I move it up front, that way I can really really flex. You can see, just like that. So that's what I do now. Uh, less. I don't feel no stress in my elbows, nothing. They just nothing but tricep. <clears throat> so.
So uh, those are the three exercises I do for uh, for triceps now. And then uh, what do I do? After that, I do uh, uh, front delts. Just uh, get a plate. I just raise it up just like that. And, uh, and that's it, people. So that's my chest and tricep workout. Uh, like I said, I didn't... Re uh, I didn't record none of the uh, workout videos because I already have videos of that already, you know, me doing them. But it just my try, like I said, my triceps, uh, instead of going just straight down, I just twist it to the side and just go down. Uh, way different, uh, you know, uh, uh, stress on your elbows. Like I said, you just, you're trying to work out for a long time, so you just got to take care of your joints, man. And, uh, and, uh, a lot of people get injured on their shoulders, uh, elbows, their knees. Um, you know, when they start or when they're starting working out, they just, uh, especially like uh, free weight squats and stuff like that, or leg presses, you're doing a lot of heavy weight and you just let the weight uh, come down on you real fast, work hard. Yeah, it's gonna take a toll on you, you know, later on. Uh, always control the weight, you know, always control the weight. I mean, it's gonna be harder, but it's better, you know, cause, uh, uh, you won't get no pains on your joints. You'll, uh, uh, you'll work out longer. You won't get injured. It's just, you know, more benefit, more benefit. And, uh, you know, as, as you're doing it, you'll, you'll start getting stronger. you more defined cause you, you know, you're controlling the weight. You ain't the, uh, the weight ain't moving you around. So just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, that's it. That's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching this Carlos and I'm out. Peace.